Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be creating an entryway table. First I'll be starting off by cutting this display board in half. I use display boards because I wasn't as comfortable as using cardboard nowadays with everything going on. So after I'm done cutting, I'm going to be using a total of four and I'm going to glue each piece on top of each other with school glue. After I'm done, I'm going to let it dry, and after it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and roll it. And I am rolling it to create the shape that I want. So what I'm trying to do is create a C-like shape. And after that's done, I'm taking my drill and drilling a small hole. Now I went ahead and cut a hula hoop in half, and I'm going to be using the hula hoop to form the shape of the side of the table. So I'll be taking my zip ties, tying it to the hula hoop and securing the hula hoop all around. Now what the hula hoop is going to do is um, make the table sturdy. And while I am doing this, I want to let you know that I'm doing a total of four of these uh, pieces. So when I get done with this, I'll do three more just like this. And now I'm just going over each hole and covering it with uh, the hot glue, even though, I mean, it looked pretty strong to me. It didn't look like it was gonna break or anything. And now I'm just cutting off the extra hula hoop pieces that are still sticking out. Okay, so now I'm going to zip tie the uh, second piece to the first piece I did. And I'm also using the zip ties to do so. And so I'm going to do one more of these. And once you do both sides, it should look like this. And what I'm doing now is zip tying both sides together. And I'm not gonna zip tie them all the way, just because I wanna make sure the table is sitting um, evenly before I do so. Next, this will be the board that the table will be sitting on. So I'm going ahead and place it on the board. And I'm just pre-drilling my holes so I can drill my nails in.
Next, I'll be adding these three pieces of wood to the bottom to give it some height and also more structure. And then I'll be taking my stapler and just going on along each side and stapling the boards down. So after this, the structure is basically done and it's time to decorate. I've taken this piece of foam board and traced it and cut it out. Um, I'm gonna be leaving this piece for the last um, part of the video. So I'm gonna cut this out and place it to the side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trace the stand again. And also cut out the shape. So now I'm going to be taking this shape and then stapling it around the perimeter. And after it was done it looked like this and I also attached another piece to the back. After that was done, I took another display board and cut it in half and I'm going to staple it on each side of the entryway table. Next I got this uh, glitter adhesive paper from Walmart and I'm just going to cut this and um, put it on the front of the entryway table. I had to really improvise for this project because Amazon is no longer um, doing orders on non-essential items. Well, they're doing orders, but it's delayed by like a month or so, which I totally understand why it just made me use more of the creativity. Next, I cut my last display board in half and I am covering it with this adhesive um, liner that I got from Walmart. I originally wanted to get the mirrored uh, reflective paper from Amazon and like I said earlier Amazon is no longer uh, sending non-essential items priority. So with that being said I had to use what I had so I'm using this. So now I am just tracing these lines um, all the way across the board and after I'm done I will go along with my razor and this is just going to make the board look more neat when I glue it down. When I was done with both panels, um, I took them both outside and spray painted them chrome just because I wanted that type of look. Especially since I couldn't get my mirrored adhesive paper from Amazon. So here's how it looks, um, spray painted silver. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue it around the perimeter. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. So after both sides are done, I'm going to go ahead and start on the front. This is the piece I put to the side earlier. As you can see, I added on two pieces um, to make it longer on the bottom and I'm adding my adhesive paper. I actually really liked using this paper. It was easy to cut and it was plastic, so um, it's water resistant in a way. And I also took that piece outside and spray painted it chrome 
and now I'm just adding uh, glue to the front of it and I'm going to add my mirror rocks and after this piece is done I'm gonna take it outside let it dry and then glue it to the entryway table and right here as you can see the side is clearly different I added some uh, glitter adhesive paper and I ended up not liking it so I took it back off after that the last thing I did was take these two mirrors and place them on the top of the entryway table and there you have it my DIY entry table I'll probably change a couple of things when the stores open back up and I'm able to get the correct items that I wanted but I am very satisfied with the way it turned out and for those who are wondering if it's sturdy it is very sturdy like always thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe